in this video we are going to look at how do you rationalize the denominator okay so let's say you're given rationalize the denominator of 1 divided by root 8 so first question is what do you mean by rationalization of the denominator what this means is that instead of having a square root over here how is it that I can actually have a number a natural number okay or a whole number or not have a root basically so we know that you know if let's say for example we have 1 divided by root 8 if I want that this root should be removed the easiest way for me is what to multiply it by root 8 why because root 8 by root 8 gives me 8 right so I will multiply this by root 8 right but the fact of the life is if I'm multiplying the denominator by a particular number I can't do it on a standalone basis but what I can do is I can also multiply the numerator by the same number so what I do is I multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the same number which basically gives me root 8 into root 8 gives me 8 root 8 into 1 gives me root 8 so in the denominator now I don't have any root number and basically it stands rationalized so the rationalization of 1 by root 8 is actually equal to root 8 divided by 8. Now let's look at one another example on this particular thing. So rationalize the denominator of 1 by root 2 minus root 3. Again this is what? This is like a minus b. Right? So in order to rationalize this, in order to make these square roots as a rational number, I can just multiply it by a plus b because we know that a minus b times a plus b gives me a square minus b square and the moment I do a square of these two numbers okay I will get a rational number so I just write this as 1 divided by root 2 minus root 3 multiplied by 1 right or in other words I can just remove this one and write this as root 2 plus root 3 divided by root 2 plus root 3 and the reason is what I have a minus b I have a plus b so a minus b times a plus b will give me what it gives me a square which is root 2 square or in other words 2 minus b square which is root 3 square which is 3 right and on the numerator side I get 1 times this number which is root 2 plus root 3 or in other words I get root 2 plus root 3 divided by minus 1 or I can simply write it as minus 2 root 2 plus root 3 whichever way I want right now let's look at a third example based on similar lines rationalize the denominator of root 8 plus root 5 now what I have is here is a plus b right and by any means if I can just kind of get the squares of these two numbers I can just rationalize it and like we discussed earlier if I multiply a plus b with a minus b I can get that answer so I can just write this as 1 divided by root 8 plus root 5 multiplied by root 8 minus root 5 divided by root 8 minus root 5 a plus b into a minus b gives me a square which is 8 minus b square which is 5 when we multiply these two we get root 8 minus root 5 right and the answer is basically what root 8 minus root 5 we can't simplify this further 8 minus 5 gives me 3 and that's my answer right